All right, guys, we got our the call has come in. Uh, let's get them on the line, uh, and uh, I will get back to all the super chats here in a little bit. What's going on? You're live. What's up, man? How's it going? Uh, it's going well. I cannot complain. Um, and I appreciate you calling in. We set this up uh, via via email to have you call in, of course, into the show. I already let the audience know um, that that was going to happen, and we are live, so I um, we can go ahead and just really really get right to it. And again, I appreciate you calling in, but getting right to it uh, so we don't waste too much time because I'm not going to take much of your time. Uh, the, the whole idea of us having you call in was because, or rather indirect response to uh, a particular tweet, um, first of which uh, calling me, um, you know, because someone brought up a quote that I had um, and you said I was a dumbass for saying it and, uh, and, and, okay. and whatnot. And then you said that you smoked me in a debate. So I just wanted to make sure that we got you on. So, of course, you can actually uh, you had the opportunity to do the latter, but also explain what your reasoning is behind the first statement. For sure. For sure. Now, I want you to remember that while I did call you a dumbass, you were throwing a lot of dumbass niggas at me, too. Remember that? Yeah, but I said that in response. So <laughs> that's that's irrelevant. So once you cross that, once you cross that line, uh, I, of course, I'm not warranted okay. to give you the same sort of uh, or to treat you right. as if you just didn't call me a fucking dumbass. So. You know. Okay. Okay. No. Let's see. So I think the problem I had, and we talked about it in in the Twitter post. My problem that I had was that you know once we got and chopped it down. Yeah. Um. I think your quote was that racism without the state is just an idea. Obviously, we both told that's that's not true because well, I mean, we we broke it down to racism can still manifest physically without the state just fine. People that lynched black people in the past, they, they weren't doing it because of the state. The KKK wasn't really formed because of the state. Yes, it was. Absolutely was. Stuff, KK, that's a historical. KKK absolutely uh, was formed uh, in, in, in connection with the state. That is, and that is an that's a historical that's statement. Not, no, I see you, you, you messed up. You said connection with the state. I said formed by the state. It's two different things. No, 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 no. I, I am saying that members of the KKK specifically and explicitly were part of and a lot uh, uh, and, and part of the government. Uh, no argument there. No argument there. I'm saying it was not. It's not a government agency such as the well, FBI or the CIA. It's not formed by the state. That's what I mean by that. That is um, so, that again. That that kind of we would have to dismiss a lot of things historically if we were to sit up here and disconnect what let's say either was subsidized by the state what was funded by the state or whether it's um it, its members were connected to it in a sense to where they were agents of it, of it despite also being oh uh being you know clansmen or, or anything like that i think we're i think you are misunderstanding the original quote however but i also right. think that we're being disingenuous if we if we disconnect that in its entirety and just try to uh, basically only thing that could be attrib attributed to the state is what is like, let's say, the CIA or the FBI or, or, or something like that. Now, if you want to say something is connected to the state, which, again, is not what I said and what I just told you is not what I meant when I said it's not a it's not an entity of the state. That's all well and good. I don't deny at all that there were um, state agents. In the KKK, many of them local policemen, many of them congressmen, many of them working for the Fed. Again, like I said, the distinction was that I did not say that they're associated with the state. I was just pointing out that the state did not create. All right. Well, no I, 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 all right. If that's what you're saying, I will say that that in terms of, of what I was saying and my quote, what you're responding to, that is a complete nod point because effectively it's well, the same again, exact thing. It's the same. It's the same I thing. You to the point. I was leading into the point. My point was you saying that racism without statism is just an idea is to say that racist acts can easily be done without the state. And I feel like we came to an agreement on that. Now, you were telling me that you were not trying to say anything necessarily profound or, or uh, crazy. You know, you weren't trying to break the mold on that. And I said, okay, cool. If, if you just want to say that racism is less amplified by the state, I mean, we can go look at history. That's that's materially true for the most part. So, and and I never once we got to that point, we just kind of stopped. I was like, okay, man, you got it. Well, again, like that was the point, and that was the point, and how it was explained to you that you called when you called me a dumbass. 
the whole uh, the whole point of and that was and I went and read after the fact certainly read the post mm. in which people brought it up brought the quote up there was right. nothing compl there wasn't anything irrational about what it was that they were saying in the point and the context of the actual quote that racism without statism is, is nothing more than a bad idea now that doesn't of course right. mean it okay. wasn't ever implied by anybody that said anything it was uh, any of the people that were responding to you they never implied that there couldn't be a way that racism manifested itself um, in, in, uh, in weird ways or ways that led to some sort of wrongdoing uh, uh, by way of someone because of said racism. That was never the claim. Uh -huh. The whole idea right. is that definitely when you speak in terms of American American history, um, or really in the mm -hmm. context of, 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 of not just American history, but other, other countries as well, the point is that without the state, racism in itself is just that. It is a bad idea. Now, of course, the reason why it's worded as such is because once you attach said racism to, st to statism, as it historically has been, been done in this country, and that's not oh, anything that happened after the fact, that has something that happened fresh off slave boats when you talk about slave codes uh, and, and, and black codes, which is essentially the state endorsing, uh, sanctioning, uh, uh, slavery and racism in, in, in this mm -hmm. country. So that is the point of, of, of it. So if you, for example, um, in, in today's culture, if you got rid of, let's say, um, let's say affirmative action laws or the civil rights laws that specifically address race, race a lot of those aren't just federal laws, but a lot of state laws. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue of, of, of racism is essentially nullified effectively in the event that effectively in the event that the state itself um, is removed because it's one thing for and this wow. was if you hold on let me finish it's one thing for someone <laughs> it, it's one thing and I'm at, all right since you're giggling go ahead and what, what exactly are you laughing at I, I mean so your, your argument just now was that in effect in terms of effectiveness and the impact on black people or, or anyone that's a target of racism. Um, you know, you were talking about racism in America, but racism is a global issue, but we'll take it to just America just to contextualize it. But so is your argument here that once we render the state useless with no other, other changes, racism will be rendered ineffective in terms of its in, in, in context of how it's been in america absolutely absolutely 100 percent. Um, i 100 agree when that you, when you throw in when you throw it in context if you if you took away the state yes racism will be radically different i disagree that it's not i disagree that it's rendered ineffective though well it's that's, when i say ineffective i'm talking in, in in comparison to what it is in the fabric of this country and how it well, has I mean, been historically so it's like all right let, let me right backtrack now, let me let me yeah. back yes that's why we have to backtrack anytime that i address it and just so you know anytime that i address an issue it's it's very, basically important i think it's at, it will be talking around each other or rather over each other's head any event that we're not talking about compared to what and and that's the whole concept of what it is that i am i'm bringing up when we talk about racism <laughs> and statism compared to what and obviously we're talking about in comparison to um you know just like you mentioned if we want to keep it in the context of america in comparison to what has historically existed absolutely in the event that the state had not been um a thing or at minimum minimized if you will and not as powerful as as what it had had been racism would not have been the issue that that it was which is why i'm talking about if you remove those barriers right now um you wouldn't have the issues that a lot of people and i'm not saying that that's what you were, were are saying this was me in in response to what it is that i you know that's what the whole quote came from was me speaking um at this from that particular concept or, or context rather and and considering that context if you do remove the state which is my position and it has been for 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 a very long time then yes, in comparison to what you have in story, it would be drastic, not just drastically different. It would be, uh, we would be seeing the world through a lens that you can't even conceptualize. Uh, or most people can't conceptualize because the state has been so prominent um, on this particular issue. Right. And, I mean, me and you, we're both different flavors of anarchists. So, I mean, of course, I'm 100% with you. It, it's easy, obvious, for anyone that has analyzed history to see the detriment that the state has had on black people, whether it's, you know, 
basically legalized terrorism towards black people, three-fifths compromise, um, refusing to make them hold the GI Bill, refusing to make them hold with the home setting and things like that. There's been legislative terrorism towards black people. No, no question there. And like I said, if you are talking about in the context of what we've seen in America, yes, it would be radically different. But again, as an anarchist, I have my views global. You could call it globalism, internationalism, whatever. But I see, I see more that needs to be done because just in terms of where we've gotten so far is not good enough for me. I'm looking at what the potential is and where we could be anytime I analyze something like this because there's almost always work to be done in terms of upholding anarchist ideals, which is, uh, for the most part, creating a free society. Okay. I mean, and that's your business. I mean, I'm not as obsessed. Um, I want to say obsessed. I'm not as. That's not racism. Certainly, isn't one of those things that's on the on, on the top of my list of things that I that I care about. Um, and definitely, as it pertains to to my anarchism or libertarianism, like it's it's like almost a non uh, a non point. Again, going back to what I had said before, um, it's one thing for that racist person to be an agent, a state agent with that sort of power. Or what have you, mm-hmm. and, and it's another for mm-hmm. for just some guy didn't think some kind of way about me because I I, I have darker skin, um, or a different color skin. That doesn't mean as much to me. In fact, it doesn't mean fucking anything to me. Um, if I can be completely honest. So if that's your focus, that's your business. I just I that has nothing to do with um certainly from a libertarian standpoint. That has nothing to do with any of that. Uh, but that's because that's a purely social social approach and a social view. So well, if you feel well, that it's not enough, you're, that's your business. You're getting the background wrong. Like the roots of anarchism is creating a horizontal egalitarian society. So as an anarchist, just just to start off. Uh, well, I mean, again, you your your to, form of anarchism and my form are different. Now, your form of anarchism well, and my okay, form of anarchism yeah, is different. Because I, I, I'm uh, vehemently against uh, egalitarianism. I'm vehemently against the egal uh, e- e- like uh, egalitarianism in a, in a concept because we're not equal beings. Well, see, that's that's the difference because of me as an anarchist, I'm critical of power and hierarchy in general. It doesn't that's have fine. to be in the government. That's it can fine. Be social, it can be economic. That's you, fine. like you said, you seem to lean more towards the state, and that's no, 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 no. See, that's a that's a straw man. Um, you you had it. You it were not? okay. You were okay. Right. You, you were okay when you were all going right. the route of okay. That's what you prioritize and you care about. Uh, hierarchies and all this other stuff, but you know, this saying that I'm a favor of the state is a completely different, no, no, no. different uh, uh, no, concept. Or I'm, I'm more I'm in favor of the state. You're critical towards it. You're 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 critic. So I would say my critical analysis. You can say that it's probably more social focus with economic also added in. Yours is more like economic state with the social thing kind of as an aside. Because I see what you said about black solidarity not being, um, um, what's that, segregationist or integrationist. You're, you're not one of those. Um, so I would say for you, you're like, hey, however society decides to form, whatever we decide to do, that's whatever. I, of course, I'm the same way, but we just have different emphasis on these perspectives. Would you say that? I mean, yeah, I mean, if that's what you were, if, again, that was the point that I was trying to make and that that if that's what you if you choose to focus on as far as uh, uh, hierarchies and and, and and whatnot, like that's your business. That is not again. I don't I don't particularly I don't want to say I don't care. It's just that's not, mm-hmm. first of all, obviously why I'm against uh, uh, the state, right. but also important, most importantly, that I understand that inevitably just because individuals are so different. The, I, I see this concept of certain hierarchies, an inevitable thing. And I don't see that as as a thing that is um, like to be demonized. Now, of course, if, if whoever okay. wants to be free to live in some non hierarchical commune, um, if that's what they the way they want to live. So as long as they're not, in, you know, obviously intruding on the private property rights of another invi- uh, individual or forcing people to be a part of this said community. I'm all for them doing that and they should be free uh, certainly to do that. But I speak of this as an, in an inevitable sense, just considering that every individual is is just that. And inevitably speaking, there are going to be people from that from a cultural and a societal uh, standpoint that are going to be at different spots, uh, be it, you know, from an economic standpoint, from a social standpoint. I see that as an inevitable thing because individuals themselves are just that they, they aren't equal beings. 
Well, what I, I heard what you said on the culture thing, and this is an aside, but in my belief, once we implement libertarian ideals such as allowing the full freedom of movement of people and allowing people to move past any imaginary border that the state creates, once we take the state reins off of free trade internationally and we can trade with people from other countries and things like that freely, we will, and once we, we look at each other as people instead of somebody that I'm in America, that person lives in Spain, he's Spanish. If, when we start working in a libertarian society where we can all enjoy our freedoms and, and you know, move and work and associate freely, I really don't think that the whole um, – integrationist thing will be an issue. I think that society will naturally associate. And to what you were saying, uh, yeah, I mean, you you have a different view, I have a different view. I think the important thing is that me and you both have, we have common ground as, as far as seeing the state and a lot of government overreaching mismanagement as the enemy. And what we just need to do, I mean, we can, we can say fuck the state and then we can go split up later. We can go go to wherever you want to live later. But the important thing is that we take this time right now to fight authoritarianism. I, I agree. I agree only to a, a certain extent. And the reason being is for me, and you know, some people disagree with me vehemently uh, uh, against that. For me, being against the state isn't enough. That's never been enough for me. For me to obviously consider mm-hmm. someone my ally um, or when it comes to this coalition build, building thing, which I think is largely overrated for the most part, being against the current state is not is not something good that's good enough for me. Reason being is what I'm not going to end up in a situation is, and let's say which you know whether it's realistic or not is, a, I guess, irrelevant for the for the context of the analogy here. But let's say we do move into a freer society and we get closer towards a freer society. Um, in the oh. event that that's where we get, which would be an awesome thing, um, we still have this issue to deal. Let's say like in my lifetime, that is. I'm not going to end up put up on the wall by people just because they fought against the state for completely different reasons. Um, and this is why I make sure I make that make that dis- distinction. No, I have, that, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, like, because, you know, you have somebody could be wanting to be against the state because they want to enact like an ethno nationalist state. Yeah. Hey, you oh, yeah. Want to work with that kind of no, I wouldn't want. No, obviously, no. They they might want to flip it to to be a state, uh, effectively as far as what they want the state uh, uh to be. Right. So that's why I say right, it, right. it's certainly not. It's not. It's it's a it's a decent starting point. Uh, but it's not. It's not good enough for me. This is why my beacon, or rather, what I look at as the the thing to pay attention to. If I am personally going to be allying myself with anybody, um, in, in this regards or coalition building, uh, my at the top of my list is private property rights. And if someone can't agree on that, that 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 people that individuals have the right to. Um, you know, obviously own a property, be it, you know, or exchange with other people voluntarily with said property. If we can't agree on that fundamentally, then we, we just simply aren't on, on allies. I got it. Go ahead. It's funny. You said it, you said you're, you're not in the libertarian party. Do you consider yourself a libertarian thinker? Yes, I consider myself a, a libertarian. I would call myself a libertarian. I call myself a libertarian all the time, but I'm not a member of my big, big L libertarian. I'm not a member of the party. Correct. So it's interesting that you say that because, you know, in getting into libertarian ideology, I've learned that there have been different versions of what property rights constitute yes, correct. throughout the history of libertarian correct. ideology. Correct. So I, I'm not saying that it's impossible. I mean, I, I think a lot of, of, I think you're a right man, you're an ad cap, I think. Correct. Um, a lot of right libertarians tend to really focus on property. Um, a lot, from my experience, especially as someone that grew up in rural Alabama with working class people seeing working class problems, a majority of the people there aren't really worried or, or thinking about property like that. They're thinking about things that affect them materially. Um, just and, and the things that affect them materially are just things that you would constantly be against as a libertarian or an anarchist. I mean, it, it depends on what that is, but also I think it's more most important to note that when we talk about private property rights, we're not just talking about uh, uh, physical or rather not, not necessarily physical. We're not just talking yeah. about like material material items that I necessarily exchange with you. The most important private property right is self ownership. That's where we start. That's where all from all okay. from yeah. all property rights. That's from from that all property rights extend. Um, uh, uh, rather branch now, off from people, that. A lot of people put that argument. Does that mean that you're 
for or against abortion? Me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm not I'm a, I'm a pro life uh, uh, libertarian, but I will say that. Uh, that's one of the, the probably, if not the one of the more grayer areas, not just among among libertarians in general, even libertarians that that are more considered right libertarians, where you okay. see people okay. split like 50 50 uh, on that. Me, yeah. myself, I'm a, I'm 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 more of a pro-life pro-life libertarian. I've heard the arguments okay. to the contrary. It's not anything that I, I care to usually argue or anything, anything like that. Okay. Cause it's not like I'm I'm like getting any abortions yeah. anytime. So. Another form of property. How do you feel about intellectual property? Intellectual property, I don't feel is a thing. Not in what it's classically okay, understood at. Uh, not as what it's classically yes. understood stu- understood at. I say this as a person that's an artist. Um, not what yeah, it's yeah. classically under, un- understood as. Because again, if I if you have the idea and I have the idea, those are two. That I'm not deprived of the idea in the event that you have it as well. Uh, unlike I, if, mm. if I have this water bottle, you may not can see me, but if I have this water bottle and you took the water bottle, you'd physically have uh, the water bottle and I would be effectively deprived of it because I wouldn't have the uh, the the water bottle. So intellectual property, as right. we understand it right now, isn't a thing. That doesn't mean I'm for people having like music jacked or, or, or something like that. I do think in a voluntary society, these instances of of like we see that right now, for example, with water, audio, audio watermarks and, and stuff like that, which mm-hmm. which right. certain companies say they won't house certain material that someone else copied, um, or they have to built into their sort of mechanics that if you do, let's say, re-upload a, a music, some type of type of music or something, the artist gets paid by it. So those types of I think concepts have been have yet to really be entertained to the degree that they should yeah. be entertained uh, because mm-hmm. of patent laws, uh, 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 copyright laws, and other sorts of sorts of laws that basically are effectively you monopolizing an entire idea. Okay. Well, they, they saying that I'm asking too many questions. I'm not answering them. So I guess you got to ask me some shit. Oh no! I mean, you can. I'm not. I'm not against. I'm not. I'm not against. Like this is more. The whole idea was bringing bringing you uh, uh you on, so you understand oh. more so where it is that I'm that I'm at on on certain issues. Certainly ones that you know you find sort of a conflict oh, yeah. with or something like that. It was less uh to the contrary. Like that was that. So no, you don't, I'm not. Okay. I don't feel obligated to ask you anything. I just the, we okay. wanted to make sure we got I you on so we can discuss it. it. I think that what I've discovered is that, because, you know, I, you know, I didn't come into here blind. You know, like I said, I've been kind of seeing what you're about, listening to you talk, blah, blah. I think that my main problem is probably everybody's problem with the artist, which is not the artist themselves, but the fans of the artist that do shit in their name and act in their name. So I think it's, I think it's like interacting with people that like you and will take what you do and kind of like shove it anywhere and you already know as a black person if you're if you're a black person in in politics white people well not all white people but a lot of white people will flock to that and they'll they'll kind of hold you up as the so-called token black um i'm not saying that's happening with you i'm just saying that's an example of the sort of sinistry that happens especially when you get black voices in politics again not saying anything sort of racism anything racist going on you know well if if i could get more white people to be anarcho-capitalist the world would be a better place nonetheless <laughs> uh uh, uh non, nonetheless i i i i don't really i don't necessarily i mean I, we've obviously had i'm not completely unfamiliar with that position considering that we've had many people on this the, the stream to debate um these concepts of, of okay people not liking the fact that i am i, I say something um, and someone else uh, may co-sign it or, or something like that. To that, I say good, um, because unless someone can find a position that I have that's a libertarian, none of that shit matters to me. It never has mattered uh, mattered yeah. to me uh, uh, really at all, because it's not like I'm saying ill libertarian things. Um, it's certainly not like I'm saying anything that's con- that conflicts with my principles. Yeah, and more people are going to be exposed to it. Some shit that's off the wall a little bit. Sometimes, like what? Like what? I mean, I, I, I love I love to explain what you think I say is off the wall. Look, I'm not saying what you're saying. I'm not saying the shit that you say is necessarily wrong. But come on, bro. It's it's Twitter. It's social media. Twitter, and I think I watched a video where you said this shit. Twitter is basically a big advertising space. Everybody goes there and they try to make they're trying to make a big message. They're trying to get people to to kind of follow on their message. They're trying to 
be the, the big billboard for their ideology. Okay, but again, I don't, I, I don't understand how that means that I that I've said some crazy shit. Like, cause I, I'm, and well, I'm not one of those inflammatory. I'm not a personally like I know obviously a lot of creators that specifically yeah. do that. They, they, they speak to be inflammatory. I don't do that. I say things that I know that I, I'm not, I'm not oblivious yeah, to the impact. I'm not oblivious to the impact, but I don't say shit. Okay. I, I, I don't say things with the specific intent that, okay, I'm only saying it because I know that you're going to, I generally don't do that. Everything I say, my balls in every, everything that I say, my, uh, they're in my words. And I believe mm. everything it is that I say, I don't say it. It, it may piss some people off. Um, and some people may <laughs> clutch, clutch every bit of pearls that they have on, around their neck because of it. That ain't got nothing to do with me. And it certainly to me does not mean that I'm saying something that's outrageous or egregious or, 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 or something you like that. You never purposely say anything inflammatory. You're the first person on social media to never say anything purposely inflammatory. That's what you say. No, I don't do anything purposely. No, I will double down if someone is pissed off. But you got to understand, I don't say that any just specifically to be inflammatory. That's not how I rock. That's not how I rock at all. Oh. I don't think I would have the following that I had in the event that I that I do. This is why in, on is any wrong? given day, if I upload a video, if I tweet something out, my own audience might might not like what it is that I say because I'm not going out of my way to sit up here and specifically say something that's inflammatory. I just say something that's part maybe part of the conversation and it may be on my mind, but I'm not don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm oblivious. I will send something out or I will do a a, a video and I already know this shit is about to be a nuke. I already know I, I, I some things don't work out like that. I will say that some things I'm like, "Oh, like yesterday when I when I made that post about about public education that pissed a lot of i wasn't even expecting to get the, the get like the 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 mm. people that found that as inflammatory as it was but i'm also i'm not oblivious i know there are certain things <laughs> that if i say that on, on twitter or or instagram or on youtube it's gonna pop some blood vessels but understand i'm not saying okay. it specifically with the desire to okay. to do that it's just something that's that might be on my mind and i think okay. that needs to be said okay. no i think i feel you sometimes i'll be waking up and i'll post something I'm like oh this is gonna get some people Mm -hmm. There's no way to people up or, you know, get a Mac. So let me ask you a question since, I, since you just not answer. I mean, I'm not thinking I asked, but, you know, since it's open and shit. So uh, could you stop being so against left libertarians so we could do this? Oh, absolutely. Before, 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 no, before. no, no, no. Y'all got to understand. Left libertarians have made have made it abundantly clear that I'm their fucking enemy. So and then, and so I treat them as such. Now, this does not mean, I know there are people, and there have been people that have reached out to me, that have emailed me, to be to be fair, that are left, that call right. themselves left libertarians and are like, hey man, I actually I actually enjoy your content. Um, I, I I like what it is that you say, and I, and I agree with certain certain aspects of what it what, what it is that 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 you say. But you rag on left libertarians a lot, blah blah blah. I know the reason why I rag on them is because they fucking ragging on me. If they reciprocated the idea, then you wouldn't see me doing all of these videos. Or not well, not all these videos. And to be fair, it's been a while since I just went at libertarians, left libertarians. But the only time I go after left libertarians are because they come at me. If they sat there and did whatever it was that they wanted to do. And I want to be clear, though. I do think there's a difference between those that, that identify as left libertarians and, 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 mm. and, and, and then those that active actually advocate that in a sense that uh, this is what this is what I would be OK with. And, and if you agree with me, you disagree with me. That's fine. Uh, 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 but <laughs> as far as left libertarianism. If you are a left look, because you're a mutualist, I've read a lot of a mutualists. I believe I read a lot of uh, Benjamin Tucker, Pruden. I've, I've 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 actually referred to them a lot when my criticism of Karl Marx, as an example. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being said, <laughs> if you are a uh, uh, yeah, if you are a a, a a a quote unquote left libertarian. And and you, however, <laughs> however, believe that, like that. No, a reason why I'm saying it like that. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain why why I'm saying it like that because it's important. It's important that you understand why why I why I gotta use it in quotes and why I gotta use it the way I do because this is this is this is my view of it. There are and I and I will leave it for leave it open. There are left mm -hmm. libertarians that will that have absolutely no problem with anarcho capitalists building an anarcho-capitalist society over there with their own property. Right. I've met them. I've had conversations with them. Those are the ones that would generally reach out to me and say, hey, I actually enjoy your content uh, uh, and what have you. However, 
there are those mm. that 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 completely disagree um and 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 let's say they <laughs> find it more destructive in the sense that let's say i'm an anarcho-capitalist or worse they find it ill libertarian uh with an eye in front of it that basically mm -hmm. not being yeah. libertarian in the position that let's say it is that i have those people are assholes so i have no i have no problem mm -hmm separating the two and i'm not oblivious but the also the reason why the main reason why i'm using it is a quote no matter what it is that you would call yourself if you would at bare minimum acknowledge the private property rights of another human being of, of let's say let's say the anarcho-capitalist the anarcho-capitalist that believes in private property rights that doesn't believe in using aggression upon you and you using your land uh to do whatever it is that you want want, want to do with it like if you acknowledge that I wouldn't ever, even if you consider yourself a left libertarian, I wouldn't consider you a left libertarian because at minimum you're at you're at you're right. at minimum acknowledging the private properties of another private property of another human right. being. So that's why I say it like I that. Tell people, go ahead. Go I, ahead. I'll be telling people because I, I run against this shit a lot. By the way, full disclosure, I looked up some of the stuff. So I came to the Libertarian Party. I voted for Bernie Sanders in 2020 in a primary. And I supported him in 2016, but I moved so I couldn't vote for him. But after that whole shit happened, and I, you know, I was like, you know, the Democrats are corrupt. They are functioning as designed. They want to be this way. They're warmongers. They're a duopoly with the Republicrats, blah, blah, with the Republicans, blah, blah. So I started looking into other ideologies, and, you know, I go on the thing, and I discovered that I'm a mutualist. Like, a okay. lot of people, you know, uh, read and their influence, but I've kind of like had a lot of these views for the most part, and it's just been bastardized by the Democratic Party because the Democratic Party has put out this false illusion towards people that they are the vanguard of the left, even though, you know, like you just admitted, left libertarians exist. Like, that's a real thing, and left libertarians predate you know, right libertarian. Well, well and, and, yeah, yes, term, in a know. term, yes. And I, I, I've long admitted that, that the, the term libertarian, that doesn't mean that I would, I will be fair. I, that doesn't mean I would call someone that calls himself a left libertarian a libertarian because, yeah, I effectively understand that Rothbard hijacked the term. And, and that's really? why in the modern sense, People people consider liber associate libertarianism with generally what people now call or the leftist right libertarian. That doesn't mean that I will call you a libertarian just because you're a communist <laughs> or you're a mutualist or, 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 or something like that. So I just say it's in term. That doesn't mean we're talking the same thing. I think in a lot of cases it's semantics. I do believe that there are a, a maybe one or two of y'all out there that that are left libertarian. <laughs> that are left libertarian. Right, more. It's more. It's more. It's more than one or two. Yeah, but. but it's not a, here's the thing. We, the reason I'm trying to get you to be like, like, stop going against libertarian so much is because I came from the left. I know there's so many people like me, but you remember how you went back and you was talking about some people are uh, hear the word libertarian, they're automatically turned off. We got to get that stain off of the party, or else they're not going to be able to do anything. You need two quadrants of the political chart to win shit. You can't do it with just one. You can either pick the so if you're hey. a live right, you can either pick the alt right or you can pick the live left. Which and like I said, here's the thing about what you said about the the private property shit. Like if you go off on your own and you living in the forest or whatever, you make your own society. If I go fuck with you, am I not violating the NAP? Yeah, if you absolutely, if you go fuck with me, you're violating uh, the non-aggression principle. So if I tell somebody I'm a libertarian and they're like, oh, but you 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 gonna fuck with me if I go off on my own? Like, what? No. No. Like, if you wanna be an individualist and go live your John Wayne cowboy wild west fantasy, go ahead and do that shit. Most people will choose to live in a, in a society of some sort, some sort, of a city, a town, a okay. commune, something. Okay. Okay. No, I don't. I'm not necessarily so, dis <laughs> disagreeing with with that particular point. My point is that. When the first of all, a lot of my my if you want to call it a plex like we would in Texas with left libertarians is you is initiated normally by them. It's not any, this is why because they haven't came at me for the last year. You haven't really seen me go at left libertarians because they haven't came at me. Only when they when they put me in their crosshairs is when I go on a tangent and yeah, I start talking about uh, uh, talking about left libertarians. My thing is is that I believe that there's a separation of those that are generally considered a quote unquote left libertarian 
Uh, there's a separation mm. between those and those that uh, those that will acknowledge the private property rights of another of other people, such as the okay. anarcho capitalists, versus those that would say that either it doesn't exist or will gladly say that they would intrude upon those in the event that they came about in a freer society. The latter of those, obviously, the people that are intruding, are the folks that I have absolutely no issue saying you are my enemy. Okay. We are not. We are not the same. I will leave room that there are those because they've get they've reached out to me. They've reached out to me. I know that there are people that watch me, my show, and my videos that would generally associate themselves with left libertarianism, though they themselves acknowledge private property rights. It's just in the terms of how I word it, I would never even consider that person a left libert. I would just call them a libertarian. I would never call them a left libertarian, even if they want, as long as what they can agree on the private property rights and acknowledge that of another individual, you might call yourself a left libertarian. I would say, no, you're acknowledging private property rights. First and foremost, that's good. That's good enough for, 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 for me. So I'm just going to call you a libertarian. So that's why I have to separate those, those two, because I'm sure, you know, there are those such as those Marxists that would, get up there those tankies who will sit up there and have they'll, they'll go like they, yeah exactly they will yeah, sit there and, like and they'll, they'll, <laughs> not, they'll, they'll claim that they're libertarian but they have absolutely no issue saying that yeah we do plan to uh we plan to intrude on your private property rights that supposedly don't exist it's me separating those but as long as left libertarians keep me out their crosshairs okay like cool cool right. keep me out your crosshairs I mean, part, and we good part of being a libertarian just holding that ideology and a lot of people make memes about this shit, but honestly, the core, like, the core of libertarianism is this sense of, like, leave me the fuck alone. Okay, <laughs> and, yeah, basically, yeah, honestly, yeah, absolutely. If, if anybody's gonna call themselves a libertarian, they have that mindset. Like, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Don't fuck with me. Don't hurt me. I'm not hurting nobody. Leave me alone. Yeah, that, no, that that's basically, that's it, that's... That's like a, a one-liner, easy for people to understand concept of what libertarianism is. You want to be you you want to be left the fuck alone. You don't want people to use it, you know, be aggressing upon you or anything like that. I would wholeheartedly agree with that. Wholeheartedly. Yes. Now I will say I kind of see why you be going and left libertarians the way you do because I watched that video you put up uh, the monetize your hater thing. I think you had a Bernie Sanders support over there. That's why I was telling you that I, I was a former Bernie Sanders okay. supporter. Okay. I watched that video, and that nigga did not know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> at, at all. Like, I was like, like I got to the internet, and I was like, Eric Washington. this dude. I, I see why Eric thinks that left libertarians are stupid. Because there's people like this saying that they are. Okay. Fair enough. That's fair enough. That, I mean, that's my experience. That's fair. Enough. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. That's a good way to put it. Like, I mean, yeah, those are the yeah, guys that 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 be coming at me. Unfortunately, they're, they're these weirdos, and and uh, yeah, they they don't they don't. I, I I will say that I want to be fair. Like I said, if you are, and and from all accounts, from what you're saying, you are that that kind of that kind of libertarian that would leave people to <laughs> fuck alone. You're good with me. Okay, like you, you're, you're, you, but what you gotta do, Eric? If if we, but you gotta understand this: if we, if you gonna tell me I'm a libertarian, if people that have these sort of views want to do something, we can't just passively be like, oh, I, I don't fuck with some left libertarians. Left libertarians need to be part of the movement going forward. Like it's it's so important for us to do anything that we want that we need that other side of the quadrant. I tell you what. I tell you what, I I would disagree only slightly, uh, but I would I would I would I would I would, I would say that you're well intended. I will say that, and I would agree. I would disagree slightly, and I'll tell you the part where I agree with you. I, I disagree first, and that is that. Okay. Look, if I can get that person, no matter where it is that they are, uh, uh, or what they call themselves, if you can again, my starting point has always been there and I've made it abundantly clear. Now I'm not speaking for on behalf of other anarcho capitalists uh, or anything on my, on like, okay, if I'm on a coalition bill with you or whatever we want to call it, because yes, there may be a way that you could communicate your message to that audience that I otherwise or, or other people may not be able to. So, yeah. so, and yeah. I, and, 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 and that's one of the leading things that I talk about when I, when I speak about culture, my thing is if that is, if, if that is to be a thing, 
we have to be able to separate those that, again, will acknowledge the private property rights of other people versus those that won't. <laughs> Like, so in the event that we, if I felt not, and I will be completely honest with you, and this may be a freaking pipe dream, and it probably is, but if, if, <laughs> okay. if, if, if there were, if I felt that the majority of people that considered themselves left libertarians were that guy were, that I just explained, which again, mm. it sounds like you're more so in, the, in that space, were that, right. then I would not, I would not be as combative as you hear me against that term and against those people. Unfortunately, I don't think we live in that realm. And and I think that that shows itself in the people that, which I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not. But, yeah, it's, it's cultural. It, it's the people. Okay. It, it's like two sides. Like on one side, the, the American libertarians, right libertarians, they see left libertarians and being on the left at all in like, almost any sort of form as like a cuss word. Like, you can't be that. I don't want to recognize you. But what I'm saying is we got to stand in like solidarity as, as liberty. Like, we got I, to stand for liberty together. It, and I, I hear agree. you. I completely but, hear you about the a lot of left libertarians you've met don't seem to fit that mold. But here's the thing. What I'm seeing, just as a person that grew up on the left, came from the left, talked to a lot of left people, is number one, there's a lot of true left libertarians like you speaking about out there, and okay. the Libertarian Party leads every single one of them if we're going to get anything done in every state. And number two is that just like how you said that you respected the Mises Caucus. Now, the Mises Caucus has a little reputation because people are, are – and, I, you know, these are the allegations. I'm sure you know of them – where people are saying the Mises Caucus is bringing in – uh, all right. I think, and I think those people. And I want to make it abundantly clear. I think those people are fucking stupid. I'm, I, I'm, and I'm not. I, I don't say that. I don't usually use that lightly. I think those people are oh. fucking stupid. The people that make that claim about the Mises, and again, I say this is a non-member of the Libertarian Party. Uh, the people that make those claims about the the Mises caucus, I do know all, obviously all of them for the most part um, from Michael right. Heiss and all, all those guys that are part of the Mises Mises caucus. They show me a lot of love. I think those people that make that claim. Are, are are fucking stupid and i do i do believe that they are th those folks the make the folks that make those allegations those are the guys that actually don't care care about liberty and i will vehemently even as a non-member of the libertarian party i would i would defend them because i do believe that uh, uh uh the vast majority of them do good do good work and those people that make those claims uh are are, are stupid people i want to make it abundantly clear that they're stupid <laughs> No, I will raise you this. Like, I'm friends with Spike Cohen. Okay. I'm just friends with some other people that are affiliated with the Mises Caucus. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to sit here and say everybody in Mises Caucus is bad, but just like every group, every collection, it has its unsavory characters. Would you say that? Yeah, I would I would argue that, yeah, there's some people that have that are generally seen as unfavorable that are part of whatever uh, – uh, 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 let's say group or, or anything, but I think on the, I don't even think that's worth talking about for the Mises caucus because the vast, well, the thing. vast it, majority it of those people, uh, one more time. That, it goes further though, because it doesn't, it doesn't stop at like the unsavory character because, well, or the bad people, because then you got to look at, well, what, people are seeing a pattern. What's They're seeing some consistency. They're that? seeing the same type of people that are, bad unsavory I, I, I would love to know who those people are because again I don't I've never I have not once I've not once seen anybody be able to make make that claim and actually back it up with something substantive I've seen a lot of straw man like those dickheads that Adam Bates guy who by the way has to see me as soon as if I'm at any any <laughs> any event that he's at he has to he has to absolutely see me the guys <laughs> like that guy at Adam Bates who does nothing but actually lie on people say dishonest things and paint people in a bad life I do believe that are, there are a lot of those types that sit there and disrespect members of uh, uh, of the Mises call because I don't think there's any trend I think there's people that are a lot of people that try to talk oh, or speak no, things. No, I think people try to speak hey, things into existence. Think, if you don't think that there's hatred, if you don't think there's a consistent pattern of people that identify with the Mises Caucus, let me tell you something. Don't make a new Twitter right now and say that you're a leftist or a left libertarian. Or say that, or, or say that you promote trans rights or gay rights. I guarantee you you would see the hatred I'm talking about. I don't, again, again, I would love to see something substantive, cause, uh, substantive that actually backs up 
that backs up that actual claim. What because a lot of people, and, and, and this is, again, where I think a lot of people are dishonest. Because uh, a, a lot of folks paint anybody that isn't jiggling, gyrating with like a community or something <laughs> as hating them. No, seriously, I've been called that. Despite me having people okay. that are not only members of my team, but also uh, that that are uh, that are just supporters of mine, that are members of say that that generally are LGBT or something yeah, like okay. that, yeah. that that will sit up yeah. there and that, that, that I've been called that said that about me just because I don't sit up there and go out of my way, let's say all the time to to say that I support this. And in some cases, I'm not with it. I'm not, I'll be completely honest, I'm not with it. And and, 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 and some, there ain't no shit that I generally, that doesn't mean that I hate someone, but there's those, like the Adam Bates kinds of the world, that can't seem to separate that Yo, you from, really don't like that man. No, no, he's a whole ass nigga. And I, I'll be, again, I'll be the first one. No, when you, no, no, the reason why, the reason why I'm saying that, because I, I want to make sure there's names to the guys that I'm, t the type of people that I'm talking about. Um, and, and I'm not speaking in like a vague, generic sense. Guys like that yeah. who lie on other people try to say that they're associated with things that they are not uh to being uh, like trying to demean them and all sorts of things those types of guys are punk bitches and i and i want to make sure that they know that but not only that <laughs> so you have a reference point so if it's like who are the types of guys that he's talking about look no further than that jackass who sits there and, okay. and lies on people uh despite them not being associated with them but because they they did a podcast or something or they talked to someone that they didn't like oh they're a fucking Nazi or, or something crazy. That in itself, and I'm gonna be honest with you before I, before I let you uh, uh, give me your thoughts on whatever it is. I think when it comes to uh, uh, actually valuing liberty, I think those types of people are the ones that are the most detrimental uh, uh, to that okay. idea of moving towards a freer society because okay. they care certainly more about that and trying to do these okay. witch hunts as opposed to actually understanding what the principles are of the person. So this person can get out there, let's not even use this person, let's use myself. A, a guy that, has, that does not advocate, you will not find me advocating uh, uh, something that is ill-libertarian. You just simply cannot cannot find it. That has not stopped people from sitting here trying to, not people, those weirdos like the jackass that I mentioned earlier, from labeling me in in a, in a way that is about the worst that it can be, and this is why I don't I don't give people leeway. A lot of those Mises Caucus guys are a lot more friendlier towards a lot of people. I think those people that sit up there and call someone Nazi or Nazi adjacent or Nazi sympathizer, I think that's a very egregious claim right there, and it's mm. of the utmost disrespect because you don't do stuff like that, right? Uh, so that's okay. where I'm at. So, but again, going back to the original point, as a as as it pertains to left libertarianism if you simply acknowledge libertarianism uh in, in private property rights if you acknowledge that no matter what it is you call yourself i will deem you as a as a libertarian i won't i, I don't doesn't mean i'm going to acknowledge you being a left libertarian no but i will I, I i won't i won't say that you're a a if i just ask you a question like okay do you believe in private property rights um and do you believe that these people in the event that they have their own property, should be able to build their own free society, free voluntary society. If your answer is yes to that, you're good with me. You're good with me, no matter what it is that you call yourself. If your answer is but or or no, fuck your property, then like the tankies, no, 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 we we we're not we're not we're not allies, and I have no problem telling you that we're allies that we're not allies. That's me. I think that okay. So number one, this is, and I gotta tell a lot of people because again, I'm coming from the left side. I'm talking to okay. a lot of people on the right side. I gotta tell people this is not a social club. The Libertarian Party, like the the Liberty Movement, is not a social club. We're not here to pile around and be friends I and agree. talk about how much we love liberty and shit like that. I agree. Right? I agree. I agree. This is a political party. This is a well, movement. the Libertarian Party is something. yes, yes. But I, I I try to separate. I try to keep those uh, generally separate because yes, maybe Libertarian okay. Party tries to value uh, liberty, but I do think there's a difference between. The liberty, the LP, as well as libertarian is big L, small L, and I don't think oh, that they often, sure. yeah. they I don't think they often need to be need to be be lumped. But as far as like from a from a like liberty people that claim to value liberty, no, they don't need to. They it's not a social club. You're correct in that sense, and they don't need to be singing kumbaya and doing all. Uh, that's right. not necessarily the that's not the point of, of of what it is that we're advocating. Right, that's not what we're trying to do here. Right. So if if you got a pro, I mean. I understand, you know, he lies on you, 
if, if he was on you, you know, and he's done this, you are naturally going to dislike him. But Absolutely. When you start working, so we're doing this shit, we're doing this bottom unity shit, we're doing this liberty unity shit that, that's popping off. If we're doing that, we're going to start working with the people that we don't like okay. as a person. Uh, I, and, and I don't disagree don't with like that. all their characters. I, dis, I, 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 I don't uh, disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. And, and that inevitably is going to happen. And, and, and even to work towards a, a freer society, I don't have to, you don't have to, a person doesn't have to like like me. Uh, or anything like exactly. that. I will say this, right. however, I'm not going out of my way uh, to al to ally in, in terms of an individual. If I know that that person is like a bad person, or I think that that person is okay. is is doing bad things to the point to where again you're lying on folks and you're you're being disingenuous, you're being again you're tying them to very egregious things. Those are those those types of folks I put in their own little separate kind of kind of kind of box mm -hmm. of people that I'm like, do not fuck with them. That's really that, well, that's you know, that's really it. But when no, on, on a general scale, I know that I rub people the wrong way. Uh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If you don't lie on me, it doesn't matter. You don't have to like oh. me. I don't have to like you. That's fine. That's all good. You went on without the. Okay, without yeah. The, yeah, I get, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it's just like you know, as a mutualist, of course, I believe in the concept of dual power, which is you know, building within the existing structures of society, but and building alternative institutions through the people i believe you okay. said that you don't even vote right because no, you're, you're like that no. kind of anarchist yeah i don't know well, i'm not i'm not like an, and i know there's like those that say they don't vote and they're like anti-voting i'm not like necessarily anti in the sense that because i know that people that are trying to be effective in the political space um and, mm. and and if they are i mean congratulations um but me that's not necessarily from my standpoint what it is that i lead with as a as an effective strategy okay. uh mine's is more okay. more akin to culture which is why i'm you know i do the comic book stuff i do the music i do all of all of that sort of stuff and i put all my time in that not necessarily yeah, yeah. voting and, and all that we need both we can't if oh we, i agree if i, I agree need, both both, both are yes i agree this shit, we need both i agree period. i agree you know i, agree. I, I feel like I feel like I'm better at the politics. I feel just like you said that you feel like your gift is the cultural side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like my gift can be the politics side, okay. the messaging side. Okay. Getting these getting these other libertarians to join so we can really, really start a movement. We can, we we cannot afford okay. to sit here and look at what just happened in twenty twenty and not move. Okay. And not do something with this with this momentum and with okay. this liberty movement. Okay. This is this is extremely important. This, from now to twenty twenty eight, it's an extremely important time, and we need. To, and the reason I brought up the Mises Caucus is because the Mises Caucus they have a, uh, uh, like I said, they will take people in that you would not necessarily say are libertarians or. I, I would love to know who they are. I would people. love it. If y'all can, if, and not this is necessarily to you, but if there are people that agree with that, can y'all please hit me up, shoot me an email or whatever, and I, I just wanna, no, I just wanna kind of look, look into it myself. Because they convert them. They, I, I well, oh, oh, you're saying, well, that, that, but that shouldn't that? All right, and, and this is where uh, this is actually a great, a great talking point that you brought up because I do know that there are people on different sides of that issue, and there are those that are. Are, and this is the difference between, and this is just me putting 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 you on game. That there that there are people that that they do unfortunately treat libertarianism like it's the cool kids club. Um, uh, and, and what they do is it's more so it, it's less about actually moving towards a freer society and more about okay saying that they're that they're that they're libertarian yeah, and they want to protect that. Yeah, exactly. It's some edgy, it's some edgy, it's some edgy shit. Now, my thing yeah. is this. My thing is this. I, and, and, and the reason why I, 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 it's not that I took exception to what it is, I just, what you said, I just think that it's a great talking point to kind of segue into is because mm. I've heard, I've heard that myself from a, okay, you are either being, it's not necessarily friendly. It's more of you are talking cordially, speaking cordially with the side or a person or groups of people that they feel mm. are illibertarian. Now, my thing okay. is, is that I do believe that it's it's a little more nuanced than that, but it it, it does kind of speak now, to what it now, is say that, that. Say the whole thing now. Say the whole thing now. It's not that they a libertarian. You know what it is. It's, no, it, it's not. They they think they're bigots. That's that's no. Business. No, I think I, I think it, it's, there's no. a difference between. I think it's more illibertarianism. Between saying somebody's a bigot, and, right? 
you know, a lot of people I talk to, they'll be like, oh, I talk to everybody. I talk to people on the alt right and I talk to Democrats. Okay. That's the same. Okay. That's not the same, right? Being well, no, Democrat those are not the same as being all right. But no, but no, but my thing is, is that like I don't think that I, I, I no, I don't think they're the same. But I don't think that's not the saying much to the actual actual concept because no, it's not about bigots. No, it's about no. I say illibertarian for a reason. It's because I will speak to people that are like, for example, for what I do with the Blaze at, at, at Blaze, right? So I do a lot of, and obviously there's a lot of people that work, not a lot, but you know, the people that work for the Blaze that aren't libertarian, right? They aren't. That, that aren't that, that are openly not libertarian. And you got guys that are myself, uh, Matt Kibbe, um, we're, we're libertarians, right? Yet we do stuff okay. with, with the blaze that in itself has afforded or rather awarded me with access to the minds of people that otherwise would not have ever, ever heard that message. I do believe okay. that that is such a necessary thing. I think that you're. I think people are are being a little a, di- a little disingenuous to acting like the Mises Caucus is just uh, I- I- embracing uh, like alt writers <laughs> or something. No, but I will say this. I will say this. If that person from whatever side, it doesn't matter if they are there or they even communists for that matter. For that, I mean, I've converted com- uh, communists with my music. You know what I mean? I, I, it's not like it's impossible. <laughs> What? Yes! Oh, absolutely. We. It's funny. I, it's funny. I've show. I showed a. Um. I, I showed a. We talked about this on the show not too long ago, of a post of a guy who was a communist, uh, who we, me and my bandmate used to argue with a lot, um, who was part of this hardcore metalcore scene. He sends us a. I hadn't talked to this guy in probably four years. He sends us a message. He sends us a message. Uh, in like uh, what was this not too long ago? It was maybe a month ago. Me and Alex, and he's like, hey. Uh, I, you know, I was listening, you know, I, I know I was hard being hard headed back then. You know, we used to God, I, this is my life right now, man. And it kind of started with you guys and, you know, obviously the music. But, you know, you guys having the conversation with me. That in itself is 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 is, is an effective thing. And this is why I talk about with culture, as in if I wasn't involved in the metal and hardcore scene, that doesn't exist. That doesn't happen. That that doesn't in itself happen. Right, but, okay. but my thing okay. is, is By that. I didn't know you screamed, by the way. Yeah. I thought you was a rapper. No, I'm not. Well, I, I, I kind of, I, I like to think of myself doing a lot of different things. Uh, but no, the main, uh, <laughs> the, the main thing is, yes, the screaming and doing, uh, doing all of that stuff. But no, there are a lot of people that will come to a walk of life and they may be on, on, you may think egregious sides. Now, I'm not saying mm-hmm. that I don't, I, I think to me, that's unfair to think that the Mises Caucus does that. I think that that is unfair. But my thing is, I don't care if you are, if you, it's about the conversion, obviously. If you can get that person, no matter where they're at, I don't care if they're a communist or a, a Democrat or a Republican or or, or or on the far, what you deem as the far, the far right, uh, the far egregious right, if they then stop being that, that's valuable. That that is a new person that okay. has now yes, exactly. adopted adopted libertarianism um, and, and value libertarianism, and will then make that let's say in their own personal life that will manifest itself in in that sort of way. That is a necessary thing. That is a that is a to me a beautiful thing about this because a lot of people have different walks. Like you talked about, you coming from left. That's where I came from. You know what I mean? I, I mm-hmm. came from I came yeah. from that I came from that side growing up. Growing up, I'm talking Shea shirt wearing leftists. I was a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Uh, and and, and, and th- that's no longer the case, obviously. But I came from that side. So this is why I always lead lead with culture so much. But I'm not of the opinion, and there are those that treat it like the cool kids club. But this idea that you can't talk to folks that people generally see, or not people, not people, a certain side of people would generally see as a as a as a you shouldn't do that. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I, I hell I interview Rachel Dolezal. I don't care. Like I'll talk to any I'll talk to anybody. You know what I mean? I'll talk to I'll talk to anybody. And I do think there are groups that are more ripe to the message, but I don't want to get caught up in cool kids club shit, which a lot of people do. I think there are people that are ripe for this message. And if they if there are folks that no matter how egregious they are, it's better that they're not adopting those egregious views. And I think you'd agree. Yeah. It's better if, that they're not adopting it versus adopt adopting it. If, if that adoption goes through, yes, the thing is, and this wasn't my main point, but the thing is, is that you don't know whether that adoption has happened because it's a set of values. It's emotional. You can't look at somebody and say, that's a libertarian. True. You know? Okay. They, True. You know, you, I'm pretty True. sure that you ran across several people that say they're a libertarian, but she was like, no, you're not. Right. True. We just yes. talked about it. Yeah, absolutely. But absolutely. The thing is, 
if that conversion process can happen on the right side, why can't it happen on the left side too? Oh, it can. It absolutely can. Tankies, it, like, I, like you said, we're not important ethno nationals. We're not important tankies. But I, shit, I, I, I agree. Feel like, I feel like authoritarian leftism is such a bad idea that it, it would probably be very easy to convert tankies once you get past the whole uh, stigma of libertarianism and shit like that. I think libertarianism is, I mean, it's, it's the way that humanity should be going. Humanity is not meant to be ruled. Uh, okay. you know, one of the founding principles of mutualism is self-mastery, self-rule. Okay. So if we have a government, then you're not being self-ruled. If, we, if we're going towards a government, like you would in like state socialism, authoritarian leftism, mm -hmm. then you're going the wrong direction. Because at some point, we're going to have to repeal the government. We're going to have to roll back all the shit you did. Once people get to a state, hopefully, where they're not dependent on anybody else other than, you know, the people around. They're not dependent on the government, I guess, you know, because we're, we're social creatures as humans. We naturally sort of rely on mutual exchange in a way. Uh, but, yeah, but we can – that's why we need to, to really push this liberty, this bottom unity, liberty unity, whatever you want to call it. Liberty unity, yes. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I run with that. Made. OK. OK. Yeah. No, I, I don't I don't disagree with that. I don't, I don't disagree. I, I, I'm not one of those that are going to be screaming. I'll tell you right now. Never. I'd never be one of those that'll be screaming bottom unity uh, or or anything like that. Um, you, no, but I do think. Shit, don't you? Yeah, I care about. But yeah, not about. But no, my <laughs> thing I care about it. I care about moving towards a freer society. Absolutely. Absolutely. A hundred percent. My thing, though, however, I don't I don't feel the uh, again. We got to separate it. There's certain types of folks uh, that I will generally coalition build. Again, there are those tankies and such that I just I will I have no desire to do it. Now, that okay. doesn't mean if there is a person that can effectively communicate and convert with those, whatever, like go do that. But I'm not one of those that believes that we all have to um, like because, again, I, like I said, I, I lead with culture. That's my thing. It's not necessarily a political is the political realm in which in which I personally lead with. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't strides to be made other places, but I'm less about, OK, trying to trying to like coalition build with a, obviously with people that that are, let's say, the, the side of the left libertarians that I wouldn't dare call left libertarians, but they are libertarians. Uh, th you those side. You, I don't. I don't detect the malice in your voice no more when you say left libertarian. No, it, it, but you gotta understand. It never. It never. I never. <laughs> my malice was specifically speaking to those that will always put me in their crosshairs. That was all, and I made. Okay. I made that abundantly clear. Those weirdos that put me in their crosshairs. I obviously didn't like, and obviously the people that were that were a libertarian, a libertarian that weren't lacks of libertarian. I obviously were. I was not with the people that were anti private property rights. You, Those you types. You have personality, bro. People gonna come after you. That I agree. I, I understand that, and I welcome that shit because I will handle it. I absolutely will handle it. But my issue, and, 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 and I've talked about this before. My issue is not with those that actually value liberty and will acknowledge private property rights, no matter what it is that they call themselves. My issue is with those that are either illibertarians or people that will put folks in the crosshairs for dumb shit that call themselves okay. uh, 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 left libertarians. I would, like I said, that's, if... That's an go issue ahead. of perspective. That, their focus is off. Okay. They're, they're focusing on the wrong shit. Okay. It's like people that focus on leftists and target them, the people that are like, oh, leftists can't be libertarian, blah, blah, and they actually try to keep you like that out, they're also focused on the wrong shit. They're focused on fighting people. Fighting, you know, fighting individuals, fighting me and you. We're not the fucking government. We, we, I thought we all, you know, if, if we're all in this space, we all have a set of commonly shared ideals. Okay. So we both, all sides, need to stop focusing on attacking each other and moving towards what we want. Like, like I said, if we let this window between 2020 and 2028 slip by without making some major waves, this whole libertarian shit is probably done. It's, it's never going to happen. This is the perfect chance. Okay. I do, I do think that there's opportunity. I've been leading with decentralization. I do think that there's opportunity. Look, I think that the more the communication aspect of this is very important. And I do believe that a lot of people need to understand that there's a difference between um, having someone. Let's say that you're coalition building. That is to mm -hmm. the that is not that is fundamentally rejecting the principle that defines that. Like in this case, libertarianism. I think there is, of course, a difference between that 
as well as uh, a, a difference between, let's say, those that value that and hold that fundamentally. They may have their own social, social preferences and social views. This is why I always generally say that that in itself isn't isn't what libertarianism is. I don't focus on that. Like that's not my like that doesn't mean that there isn't strides to be made for those that you identify with socially. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the concept of liberty uh, in itself isn't that. Like, it isn't defined by, let's say, me being a metalhead athlete or whatever. Like, that's not what libertarianism... It's, yeah, it's, it's the allowance to express that and be that. That's yes, liberty. yeah, yeah. yeah. Be that I, without persecution. Right, exactly. So obviously you, you can, you, you, you are absolutely within your right. I think that there are folks that have unfortunately blurred the lines, and this is why you see a lot of conflict definitely between these people who you think would agree with uh, on like 99% of issues. It's because you have certain sectors, again, that want to treat it like it's the cool kids club. And they are more, mm, yeah. they are more, uh, it, isn't, it isn't even ideological purity, which some people would attribute it to. That's not what it is. It's more of, they have their view of what they think libertarianism should be in association with these social views and all that other stuff. So they try to make it about that. So that in itself has created a bunch of conflict where mm. as to which, which how it should be, okay. uh, uh yeah. it's more like, it's not about that. Okay. So if you can get that, per and you'd see obviously more strides towards Liberty. If those folks who mm. do do that can sit up here and understand that Liberty is, uh, is what's held high here. It ain't these people. So it ain't your social preference or anything like that. You making an enemy out of folks based on it is, is, is not conducive to that. Do you value liberty? And in this case, again, we're talking about pro the, 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 just a, the mere acknowledgement of that's it of, of 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 like private property rights. If you can get down with that, I always say you're good with me. You're absolutely good with me. You are good with me. If you if, if you can if we can agree on that, you're good with me. But in I, the event that you reject work. that, we're 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 not on the same page. Obviously. Now I want to tell you that what you said it is true, but. The thing is, it happens, I feel like that when you said that just now, you are obviously directing that more towards what I'm talking about, the best libertarians or, the, you know, the people that you would say are, are like I would that. address that to anybody. Is, is Any, that, anybody that tries okay, to make okay, this, okay, okay. it doesn't matter what, what's, what you consider yourself. I have no issue saying that. If you try to make okay, it about your social preferences, you're not, you don't even understand what it is that you actually, what, what fundamentally you value anyway, what you're, what you're claiming, you're, you're treating it like the cool kids club. Like, for example, when I take aim at the authoritarian left, which is like a lot of my content is that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pretending like it is. And I will go, I always take aim at the, at the authoritarian left. I'm taking aim at that, that in itself that in itself that in that concept it doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't people who let's say have a particular social view that you would generally identify as progressive i don't i i, I don't care about that my thing is is that what i value isn't about that so i don't care like i don't care which is why i don't even get into those those arguments if you've seen those previous debates with those weirdos i'm like i don't even care to dispute that because that has nothing to do. Yeah, you, be, you be skipping a lot today. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't care. I don't care. I'll say, I'll say I don't care. That has nothing to do with I don't even care to have that argument. Because I don't. I don't. It's not. I, I'm not going to pretend and make libertarianism about what I personally, from a social, the, the, albeit voluntary, voluntarily, what I view socially. I will not do that. I, I, I will not do that. Unfortunately, there are people, and whether what side you feel they are, I don't really care. There are people that try to make libertarianism about specifically that. So what ends up happening is, is what you see some of, and that is people making enemy out of folks who may be as well libertarian, may hell be more libertarian than them, but they've made an enemy out of them because they aren't where they're at or where they think they're supposed to be socially. And that's treating it like the cool kids club versus actually wanting okay. to be, do something that's conducive for, for liberty. You were saying that you you tend to go more on the state side, on the authoritarian side. Let me ask you this. To me, and of course, you know, I, I explained to you about the anarchists and how I see it, you know, the horizontal society, 
it, it, you know, even if you can't even make society exactly egalitarian, like try, you know, just try to make people make it so that people can just live. But I wanted to know, do you feel like there's not that many social values that need to be upheld for a libertarian society? No, uh, reason being is because I, I believe I, this is why and that's a, that's a great question, by the way. Um, and this is why I believe so much in, 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 in the decentralization concept, because I believe and again, some people may, may disagree with me. I do believe that any event that we live in a let's say the entire of the entirety of North America um, becomes mm. a more libertarian uh, like like social order in, in itself. I believe that there will be certain aspects of certain of certain areas, uh, even areas within those general areas that will likely differ socially like a lot. And I have to leave okay. that room. I, now I'm not going to pretend that's exactly what's going to happen because I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a clairvoyant, obviously. What I'm saying is, is that I actually I, I leave that room uh, uh, because I do actually believe that. Yeah, it, it, it. You know, that's a hot, that's a likely occurrence. Let's say that. I, I won't say that it is going to happen. And if I did say that, let me miss. I don't want to misspeak. I'm not saying that that's exactly what's <laughs> going to happen. I will say that I do believe that it's highly likely that that will be the case. Well, what you'll see is these pockets. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. Go ahead. Once we get immigration, once we get the free immigration, uh, how do you feel about that? Open borders. A lot of libertarians don't like that. No, I, I don't think. I think this is how I, and this, again, another good question. I'm glad we're talking about it. I don't see uh, what people define as generally open borders. I, I see as a libertarian. This is why I did. A, I did a great. And you can go. I'm, no, oh, okay. I'm, 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 and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. You can go. I did a video. I did a long form video talking specifically about libertarianism and the and the uh, and the and the uh, the approach to immigration. I say immigration has libertarianism. Immigration has nothing to do. It's not. It's not closed or open borders. Uh, the reason why I say that is because what it does is if you look at how it exists right now, and we're talking in the context of the state, the state has effectively monopolized it regardless. So whether they consider it open versus what they uh, what they consider closed, either of those aren't necessarily libertarian because what happens is they monopolized it either, e anyway. So when well, you're going to have some form of be it uh, eminent domain or, or something of that nature where people literally cannot privatize the land that is there. And then effectively what happens is they dictate what it what how that what that policy much must, must be. So when you consider like the more favorable, quote unquote, open borders concept that America has, like with this refugee uh, uh program that is an illibertarian mm. program because it they literally subsidize that so what happens is they have stolen from americans uh to pay for that it's not like a voluntary okay this person lives over there that another person would pay for them to come there and live with them um and assume whatever risk that 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 would happen with that that's not what it is that they're advocating. So this is why I always say that it has nothing to do. It's not an open borders position and it's not a closed borders uh, position. And this is why I always lead with, again, the private property concept. So when I think immigration, when I talk about immigration, it doesn't matter. Like uh, this is why I say there's no such thing as like this, co this open libertarian borders, because doesn't matter where you're at, even in a libertarian society, people are going to decide where it is that they are. And it, and they may own, let's say, that sector of the land and they may enter into a voluntary uh, 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 like contract okay. with with that particular side. So this is what I right. mean. So it doesn't mean that we're de I think what it is, is more of a definition thing. It's semantic. It's like what people generally define as 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 a more freer form of immigration versus not is I think uh, or open borders versus closed borders is, is, the, is the dispute there. It's more of a semantic thing. I say from a libertarian standpoint, we got to be careful. M reason being is because if you define open borders in a sense of state, not saying that you are, I'm saying a lot of people do mm. open borders in, a st in, in, a, in, a, in like, let's say state monopolization of land, just allowing or rather uh, monopolizing Wait. it and ensuring that people can <laughs> let's say cross over, meaning they've monopolized all of these uh, supposed imaginary borders that in itself is not a libertarian position, but there are libertarians that believe that uh, not libertarians. I don't want to call them libertarians, but let's say that there are people that generally favor, favor that concept. And that's not a libertarian position. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, so a basic libertarian concept is, you know, uh, your, your rights 
end, I guess, where mom began. Like, you yeah, can't coach sure. them in. Anyway. Absolutely, absolutely, so, yes. To that, to that, I would say, like, if you want to, like, live on the border, well, whatever we call the border right now, then, like, by all means. Absolutely. But you just cannot stop the mobility right, right. of somebody coming in. You right. cannot block them. You can't put up a wall You're in no way. So, well, what, you so, can put a wall. I mean, if like, it's your property, you can. If it's your property, you can. If, 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 well, well, you can't. Oh, okay, but, there, but there's limits because your whole, your property can't just be a new boundary. It can't just be a, a new Well, uh, our property is. Our, our property would be some, It's a boundary in a sense. Like Obviously, the mother, nobody could just wall off the entire well, southern no, border of like Texas. I'm talking about like a, like a national border. Like, it's, no, it's yeah, like obviously, yeah. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. No, what I'm referring to. I'm referring to like someone in its own property, in its own property, or even in its community in, even in the, oh, if the community okay. is voluntarily if that's what i'm referring to if you got your own land or whatever yeah just, yeah okay you know, okay so we agree on that yeah put a fucking uh cross on your yard know, right know, okay gotcha but gotcha if, you know like if you, you just can't stop people from coming in and i mean I, I feel like open borders is the answer because i feel like that's like you know like i said i'm very heavy i, I put my emphasis on the social sort of thing okay so because because I feel like if you're not socially free, you have zero chance of being economically free. You okay. need that one before you get the other. Okay. Um. So I th- I think I, I, I would I, only disagree in like the definition there. I believe that econ- I, Well, I, I believe that it the 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 just if the individuals uh, within a a geographical area can at minimum put private property rights at the fucking at the top of their list. Then that would correct a lot of issues that we generally associate that would that would come with a lot of these. So not all of them. It's not going to alleviate a, a social issues, but a lot of a lot of a, a lot of these problems. My thing, no, I would I would disagree. If the idea of let's say the state has effectively right now monopolized every country has monopolized their borders, right? I'm not of the opinion. I'm not of the opinion that just simply keeping like a, definitely a lot of the policies while also while also <laughs> subsidizing immigration, like something which is what effectively what happens is what well, that's like the well, refu- well, refugee mean, resettlement if you program. Really open the border. Is that really going to subsidize immigration if that's all you do with no other policy change? Well, that, again, that's not what, well, no, that's not what, well, fortunately, I would love to speak in a hypothetical situation. I just can't because like with, a, with the, re, uh, the refugee resettlement program that exists with America, it's the complete opposite of that. It's the complete okay. opposite of that where they literally subsidize immigration by way of, of the taxpayer. Like that's literally one of these. So I don't focus more on like I'm from Texas, man. I was living in South Texas at, at that. Like this is like I, I obviously know this immigration stuff like the back of my hand as it pertains to the people that are generally coming from the southern. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about specifically, for example, with the refugee uh, 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 resettlement program. Uh, okay. and, and, and that in it, like that in itself, is an example of unfortunately a very dangerous, detrimental uh, 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 policy. That in in combination with all, that, we can't consider that in itself a libertarian position because it's not. And this is why, when talking, like for example, to people that generally favor more more immigration restrictions as opposed to less, I think that it's important for. And again, this is just me putting on game, understanding because I converse <laughs> with these guys all the time. This is why yeah. that I think people that are more generally favorable of immigration need to address that problem, because if they did, you find people more likely to be open to that concept if that was alleviated. Because unfortunately, what you effectively have right now is a lot of the state subsidizing immigration. It's not like, OK, it, it, it's some voluntary thing like voluntary sponsorships where some of these celebrities that are sitting in their little ivory towers or, or, or whatever would sponsor an immigrant and bring them into their own their own place and pay for their travel and everything like that. I don't know anybody that's really on the on the side of more restrictive immigration that would be against that. If you think about it, the only reason they need to subsidize immigration is because there's a black market for it. There is a need for it. And the United States is trying to place itself as being the arbiter of, the, I mean, the gatekeeper. It's like, hey, everybody got to stay out of these borders I, create, I made up. And the only way you can come in is if you follow my rules. Now, I got to ask you because you said something about subsidizing with taxes. Do you believe in modern monetary theory? Not in. I mean, it depends on what your what your what your concept of of modern monetary theory is. Because my thing, my approach to money, well, just what I said. Like my 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 approach to to monetary theory. Like I'm I'm coming from the Austrian Austrians, more so the Austrian side. But I'm not as like fucking 
hardcore with it as some people are who have like completely a gave in like let's say bitcoin that's the media's car that's why i don't think the media's caucus is really like the vehicle people are thinking i, dis- I disagree i think I, the libertarian part the media's caucus, caucus as far as i'm concerned is the most effective is the most effective uh the the most effective uh caucus in the libertarian party it's really the only caucus that i fuck with and I don't even fuck with the Libertarian Party. Them other motherfuckers, I, ain't, I think a lot of them are weirdos. Uh, but the Libertarian... The Mid- going to burn out, bro, because the, nah. my, the Mises Caucus only nah. recognizes the Austrian school. Like, that's in nah, the No, nah, nah. like, well, yeah, that's, no. Well, yeah, but that's but that's Mises, though. Austrian you should expect economy. that. You should expect that that's Mises, though. You know what I mean? Like, that's... They, no, I mean, they, they can have it. I'm just saying that... Like, if you expect this to be the big vehicle for libertarian? You think most people in America even know what the fuck? Uh, no, uh, but I mean, I think that's the point of the educational side of things, though. You know what I mean? Like, you you can do that, but I'm telling you that even you can go throw education to these people all they want. There's, there's going to be a lot of people that buy into the property shit, buy into all the other shit that simply do not believe in Austrian economics. I don't, and some of the other I, yeah, but I don't think any, about. I don't know any Mises caucus guys that are like that, 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 that would say that would claim otherwise, because a lot of them, uh, a lot of them are, are cool with Chicago economy. Like who, like David Friedman and all, and all of those guys, those guys are Austrians, you know, like those guys. Are when, those, I, those, when I went to my, when I went to the Georgia libertarian convention, there's a Mises caucus booth. So these, these are them boys. Like, but yeah, boys. but Mises, like, but I they're, think they're better people. Like, but focusing, they gave me, they gave me a little pamphlet, and it said they explicitly recognize uh, Austrian economics. And here's the bad thing: that's not they bad they though. Explicitly are against socialism. Oh, now, I, I, if I, I'm I, a mutualist, hey. think about it, if I'm a mutualist and I'm trying to bring less libertarians in, which is going to include libertarian socialists and anarcho socialists, I can't. That's not going to mix. Well, again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier on. Rejecting and Mises Caucus is gonna uh, going to be against socialism, um, obviously in, in in its concept because of what it has generally been understood as. But again, this goes back to remember what I was saying earlier in the conversation about that person who I wouldn't even call a libertarian. Same thing comes with a socialist. If the socialist, if the curse of calling him a socialist says, okay, I acknowledge the fact that you have private property rights and y'all can do whatever y'all want over there, he's not a socialist, as far as I'm concerned. And again, I don't know any. This is why the great. This is why the great Ron Paul. This is why the great Ron Paul said this. He said that he said that the the capitalist, for example, will allow the socialist to be a socialist, but the socialist won't allow the capitalist to be a capitalist. This is why. Uh, this is uh, and that, that same approach would be with Mises Caucus guys. I am sure, and that if you said, "Hey, Mises Caucus." I want to go over here and build my voluntary commune with this property that we homestead that is legitimately ours and we're not going to force anybody to be a part of it, but we're, it is going to be a commune nonetheless. I don't know anybody that's part of Mrs. Cox be like, they'll say, you should not have the right to do that. They would say, they may say, no, I don't want to be a part of it. They're going to be, it's not, it's not that they're, I mean, they're libertarian, right? They're libertarian party. They're probably going to generally have the idea of, you know, do whatever the fuck you want. The problem is, is that the Mrs. Caucus is, it, it looks like they're trying to become the face of the Libertarian Party. Which I, I, I would I would not argue that. I would not say that that's a bad thing. I would say if they because, are trying to become the face of the Middle East. trying to become the face, and they're out here, and they're like, well, number one, you got we, we only recognize this type of economics. And but if you're a socialist you, at all, we don't fuck with you. How is that going to be? I think I think that's a miss. I think I think that's, that's a miss. Okay, but I think that's a miss. I think that's a miscommunication right there. Um, and, and, and what, if they, if they end up being the coming, let's say the face, I don't know any like Mises caucus guys that would say for like, yes, they go, are going, it's a Mises caucus. They of course are going to lead with, with Austrian, it's Mises. I mean, that's, that's implied in the caucus name. They're going Ooh. to lead with Austrian economics. I don't believe that that's a bad thing. And I don't say that just because hell my, my, one of my greatest influences wasn't a libertarian influences. wasn't a, it wasn't an Austrian econ- economist. He was Chicago. So my thing is, is that when you talk about and, and I would encourage you not only to have disputes with, uh, with with them about not necessarily disputes, but in actually engaging with them in, in, in this conversation that in itself, if you understand what Austrian economics is, that in itself is not going to conflict with, again, the person that it, it may be we may be talking semantics here, but it's not going to conflict with the person that says and this is why I would encourage you to actually talk to them. 
that says that the Mrs. Caucus guy is won't conflict with the person that's a socialist or says that they're a socialist. I, again, I wouldn't just say that you're a socialist. That acknowledges private property rights, which is, again, what they would have to do in the event that they claim to be a libertarian anyway. So my thing is, is that it, it, that's implied in Austrian in, in the Austrian more so in, in the concept of allowing people, obviously, to be free to make these make these said decisions. Now, again, that commune may end up being ran into the into the ground and the, and the and the Mises guys could have warned them that that shit was not what you wanted to do and that's uh that was probably the worst thing that you could have did from an economic standpoint however you should have had to you had the absolute right to make that decision for you guys itself and there's not anybody in the Mises caucus that I would uh, that I would know that would say you shouldn't have the right to live that out and I think they've made that at least abundantly clear to the people that would at least try to communicate with them but I don't expect them to drop Austrianism, you know, like, of course not. You know, when I went and talked to them, the music, they, they were telling me we will work with damn near anybody on a single issue that we feel, you know, meets our standards or meets libertarianism. Like, I know they'll work with them. I, I mean, like, and like I said, they kind of got to let them be just by virtue of being libertarian. Okay. The problem comes that if we are going to make this transformational step, we can't have a a caucus that is divisive in that way. I don't think it's divisiveness. Space. I think it's more of a getting people to understand. Like that's their fund. That's their fundamental principle. And what they're doing is they're trying to get people to under obviously understand what it is. And they're leading with Austrian economics, which, to be fair, I would argue most of the modern Amer American libertarians uh, came from that side anyway. Not all of them. I'm not saying they all did. I'm saying in the modern mm -hmm. libertarian sense, most of them did anyway. Uh, some way, definitely when you got this whole Bitcoin craze going on uh, uh, <laughs> a, 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 as well. But my thing is, is that it's not a bad thing to lead with. And I don't think it's divisive as, as maybe you are putting it because of what Austrian e e economics in itself it, implies. It's divisive because of the explicit, like we, it, okay, if they just had a list of like, we allow, like we allow this, we allow this, we recognize this, that'd be cool. But they have certain parts of their platform where they are explicit, like, even if not on the platform, some of the people themselves and, and like, their ideologies, where they are explicitly against some things that would be included under a libertarian. And I, I, what do you think, what do you think some, what do you think some of those, I would like to know what's, what you think some of those, I'm not necessarily saying that's a bad thing, but I, I would like to know yeah. what, what, what some of those concepts are and, and how, I, and why I've they're seen, detrimental to, to libertarian. I've seen pushback on, like, and I think, you know, you might not be super into this and think it's a, a sympathetic call. I've seen pushback uh, on trans issues from the Mises Caucus. Uh, I've seen pushback on racial awareness. That's, you know, again, that's not like just selling your soul to only think about race. But it, there are the states has materially manipulated people in America based on their identity. That's not even up for debate. That's that's I don't you know, but I don't the, think we me Mrs. Caucus out me 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 Maj Toure and Larry Sharp did an event talking about all of this though by that was hosted by the Mises caucus they specifically put that event up all three of us were talking about that issue so I don't I don't think that they would I, I, don't, I don't see where you're getting this idea that uh, that they well, would I, acknowledge I that they wouldn't that acknowledge that. You, I said that to go into another point it's okay. because with the like with the pushback, I guess on um, I mean they okay. What like you said, they hosted you at an event. Yeah, y'all have to be black, but were y'all talking about like black issues? Yes, that's specifically that's what the event was with? for. Now, do you think that's something they would do on a consistent level? Yeah, do why you think they? Why, yeah, they. they I, I tell you what, it, it ain't not any of the other Libertarian Party caucuses made it happen. You had three of the hey, most wait, prominent. Wait. No, hold on. You had three of the most prominent, the most not not of the the most prominent black libertarians, the most prominent black libertarians right now. They hosted us. Not that not that any okay. of the other caucuses did that. They hosted they hosted us in that event, and that whole entire event was specifically addressing okay. some of these issues of race. Not no other caucus I'll, did that. I'll tell you this. I, on that note, I'll tell you this. The Mises Caucus has been the most successful caucus in the Libertarian Party. At least since I've been looking at it, which hasn't been that long, but it seems like this is this is one of the, the first times where there was literally like some organization. I, I tell people that whoever came up with the idea 
to collectivize under a caucus in a group of individuals in a party was pretty smart because most people are going to be scattered and not organized to contend against that. You can pretty much just kind of swing your weight however you want. Okay. But my thing is, okay, okay, I, I, I hear that. But I think, I think we're being unfair to that caucus if we act like they wouldn't talk to or they don't talk. Like, I think, I think again, the, the issue here is falling in or slipping into the obsession of the social shit. I think that's where that's where this issue that's issue uh, issue comes about. It doesn't matter where you're at. Mises caucus, as far as I'm concerned, is obviously the most effective caucus as far as I'm concerned with the Libertarian Party. I say this as a non-member of of the of the Libertarian Party, and I don't think I think it's a great thing considering what they what not only just what they talk about, but but the fact that they're open with it. Uh, open to have that conversation. I think they are a great face. That doesn't mean they're the only face uh, uh, or, or okay. going to be the only face. But I believe that if if there is to be a dominant a dominant aspect, I have no problem with that. You don't got two faces. You only got one face. No, no, I'm just no, no, no. Well, you can have multiple. I mean, I'm a comic book guy. Of course, you can have multiple faces. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, is that when I say like when I say the face, like obviously what people generally understand as, but there obviously can be more more different like uh, small you know you branches, I, if you will. Honestly, honestly, I feel what you say. I myself, I've been one since I got into this. I see the boy. Like I said, I know there's a lot of other libertarians that can be tapped into. I have my own plans to make a caucus to sort of serve as the other side to that. To okay. work, I'm not in compliment with it because, you okay. know, like I said, that, that, they're almost explicitly right because they denounce socialism, because they are explicitly pro Austrian economics. That leaves a whole swath to me of libertarians. So my aim would be to create a similar caucus, but of the other, basically the other side, given the other side of the story. And that would kind of accomplish what you were talking about in terms of having multiple faces. Okay. And that would also serve as a really good uh, sort of message for bottom unity and getting some shit done. Okay. Well, again, I, I, I you got, I mean, there's like you, you had mentioned, you feel like this is, uh, you got the next eight, eight, seven, eight years. To uh to really try True. to take advantage of of, of 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 a situation where a lot of people are looking for some alternatives, um um and we uh, you know and they're going to be because you know you know damn well a lot of people are turned off by the Mises caucus. You can say it's justified or not, but a lot of people are. I th I do I do I think I do I'm not saying that there aren't people turned. I do think there are a lot of disingenuous, stupid people that lie on the Mises, Mises caucus, and I don't want to undermine that. Because I have unfortunately came into conflict with the same people and I don't want to undermine that and I don't want to put it on like it's like the Mises caucus acting. I think that stupid people need to be called out for being stupid and disingenuous and we don't want to conflate their inability to comprehend or their dishonesty. Uh, 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 we don't want to undermine that and try to blame someone else for that. I think I think you are. Uh, I think if we if we like put it on, OK, these people, these groups see that caucus or, or see that group of people as, as, as bad or are turned off. I do think there's a lot of dishonest people that have aided in, in, in that, in that effort. Okay. And if they got off that dumb shit, they would, they, they would see it for what it was actually worse. But I don't want to, I don't want to undermine that. There are a lot of stupid people um, that, that say stupid, dishonest, disingenuous, and, and are very disingenuous. And I think they need to be called um, for what it is. I already na named I, one. We don't want to undermine that. That's, that's real. That's real. I think that on that tip, we need more community. I'm, I'm going to say community policing from the libertarian, but we got to make sure we got our minds right and focused for what needs to happen. This infighting cannot happen going forward, whether okay. it's on the left or right. It needs that we need to go forward as one, or else this shit is not going to work. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you time. what. I, and I don't necessarily agree, disagree. Excuse me, with the idea that this that is not conducive to to like moving towards a freer society. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. What I will say is that I would encourage you to look to that side, and you would generally find that they are the initiate. They are the ones initiating the conflict. 
at, when they say dishonest thing, do it disingenuous. Uh, yet, yeah, don't know the side that paints that generally tries to paint members of the Mises Caucus, for example, that are that are that are claiming to be that are members of of Libertarian Party. I'm talking about them specifically. Uh, that okay. they are being, they generally initi initiate that. That definitely guys like man. If you know Michael Heiss, he's like the most friendliest dude. He's a teddy bear, man. He's an awesome person. Uh, <laughs> he's a, he's a very cool person. He'll talk to anybody. He'll reason with anybody. He is an awesome person. Um, how do you I, feel about him being? How you feel about him being chairman for life of a libertarian? I think party, that if y'all get behind party. that man, um, and I'm saying this is a person that's on the outside looking in, you have a lot of lot to gain. You have a lot to gain getting behind Michael Heisen. Uh, Michael Heisen's vision. Think about it, bro. Is that you? You the you, you don't use illiberal. I mean, not liberal. Illibertarian. Illibertarian. Yes. All that is is being the chairman for life or something. Is that not illibertarian, especially for a libertarian caucus? Well, I was just, I thought you were speaking hypothetically. I didn't know you were meant to speak in no, no, not hypothetically. I thought, I thought that was like when you said, I thought, I thought you were meaning like, uh, I, I didn't know exactly. I don't, first of all, I don't see that. I don't no. think, I don't think that means man, necessarily Michael means illibertarian. Is literally the chairman for life for the Mises caucus, bro. Oh, uh, oh, you're talking about for the caucus. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, that's, yes. that's something that he started. Uh, don't do that. Why not? What? Well, no, no, that's a that's a group, that's an organization that they started, and if that he and really to be fair to Michael, he started that. Like that was his him bringing that him bringing that from the ground up. If they want to make him, if they want to make him chairman for life, oh, it is what it is. I thought this wasn't a social club though. That's their caucus. That's you. You specifically talking about a caucus? Like the whole design of it is to oh. be a be be designed right to to be a group group effort, right? Like that's what the, that's the concept of a political caucus within a party. Oh. That's the whole okay. point of it, no, not you, the general you, party you, or anything. You, you I don't really care. Property right. You might, oh, if you make it, you can do whatever you want with it. Be, have, be I am a, I am what I, I am a property I am a property right absolutist. If you want to call me that, <laughs> I have no problem. You know, they, they call that propertarian. They can call me whatever they want to, uh, and I don't care. And I think generally, I've actually had debates with guys that generally call themselves propertarians, and I would disagree with them almost on every, uh, on a lot of different things fundam fundamentally. But I, my whole the whole concept of what we believe libertarianism is starts with private property rights and self ownership. That and, and I, I will never abandon that. And I think once you do abandon it, you that that's when the libertarian stuff. Uh, so my thing is though, and I think a lot, and obviously most libertarians that 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 would that are libertarians would agree with me. What you do with that, it's a difference between me not liking it and you having the right to do it. And I believe that if you is so as long as it's voluntarily arrived, that is the most important point. As long as it's voluntarily arrived, you do whatever it is that you want. Uh, that doesn't mean I gotta like it. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna say it's uh, say I say I don't like it. I may I may help upload a video and say that I think that's stupid. That doesn't mean that I think that uh, a state agent should come by or anybody for that matter should come and and, and and use aggression upon you for doing it. I think that's the point that unfortunately a lot of folk miss. Uh, when it comes to it. and they can't separate that they can't separate those two things from one thing which is okay you have the right to do it versus me not liking you or believing that uh right. that those two different things is more so what, what it is i'm now saying the re and i was gonna say the reason that a lot you see a lot of those people kind of reacting the way that you see towards the media talking or you know proceed actions is because and you can i'm i'm damn near sure you are going to say that this is a result of them being too sensitive okay. or or moist. I see y'all like to use that <laughs> word. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, sure you, I'm sure that you're going to say that, but a lot of people feel as though if there is someone that they feel uh, has ill intentions for their identity, okay, like, you know, a bigot of any kind, a racist, ethno-nationalist, okay. transphobe, whatever, when people see something that they view as a threat to their identity or someone that has ill will towards them because of their identity, they react. Uh, yeah, strongly. of course, of course, of course. Like people were, were acting towards this damn vaccine passport thing when they started comparing it to the Holocaust. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Like, I, I understand that. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not disputing that at all. That as far as people are going to be rubbed the wrong way, I think the, the communicative error here is is for people to 
And whether it be whose fault this is on, I don't really know. I haven't really thought about it in, in, in that much detail. Who, which side's fault it is? I don't really care. I don't think it's even important. No, it, it, you know, that don't even matter. Yeah, but but, the, but I think it's a commu- I think it's a communicative effort uh, error, where unfortunately sure. people yeah. don't. Again, it goes back to what I was just saying. Versus okay, you not having a right or versus like I think what we need to if there is to be some sort of communication between either party not actual political party i'm saying either side of of whatever issue it is that we're talking about that's what i mean in terms of party i think that that communication has is so important to have so people understand that that can be separated and and unfortunately a lot of people don't and i and to be fair look when you consider the nature of politics right now you can't blame them. It was like me talking about education yeah. the other day. Why, if someone went and did some stupid uh, as a youngster in terms of their degree, I'm not gonna knock them for it because hell, if if everybody around them was telling them and everything they saw, that's what it manifests itself in that way. How can I, I? I'm not gonna knock them for that. So this is why the communication is so important, so people can be able to separate it. I have never met anybody that has talked to me, for example, in person. Like me, just uh, not 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 with lights on or anything. I'm talking like as an individual, individual about any issue pertaining to what they thought about me, and never mm. have have I heard them walk away from that actual real life conversation and say, "Oh man, <laughs> that guy was a complete asshole," um, or yeah, yeah. or they no that it, because it's it's not a thing. It's and that's why the communication is so important. Because that is a necessary thing. You are able to separate that. Like, okay, is this person actually a threat to me? Because I talk, like, for example, I, let's be blunt with it. The trans stuff. We just talked about that. Mm. Generally, a person oh, like man. me, I ain't with half the shit that I see a lot of that is coming from that, that, that like, general authoritarian left community that unfortunately <laughs> has a hijacked and abused that community of people to advocate what it is that they want. I'm not you generally. Huh? I don't. No, I don't give a fuck at all. I mean, it's gonna. It probably is gonna happen <laughs> eventually, anyway. But seriously, though, if the person though from that community had a conversation with me about it, they would understand that that doesn't mean I hate them. That doesn't mean mm. that I want someone to use aggression from them. In fact, in the event that someone did, I'd probably defend them from it. Right? I would defend them. I, I would defend them from yeah. that. Seriously, just being dead serious. But there's a separation for me. Again, I'm not. Don't expect me to be bug, bug dancing and gyrating and jangling with you in and, and, and a street at a parade. That ain't happening. That's not happening. It won't happen. It's not gonna happen. However, that again does not mean that I'm. Yo, that, so your solidarity is reserved only for black people. No, not no, not for black people. No, it's not only for black people. I, again, I will coalition. Well, my bad, my bad. Not only for black. I guess you got solidarity with libertarians too. Yeah. But you don't got solidarity with many people, many groups. <sighs> You got to select few. Like of what I would effectively coalition build to build some sort of like big communicative effort, probably. Like it's not that okay. big of a, it's not, but that doesn't mean I won't. Number one, it doesn't mean that I won't, and it doesn't mean that there aren't there isn't like those nuanced instances where there may be room for some sort of collaborative yeah. effort, despite me like being like, okay, generally I wouldn't be with this shit. So right. yeah, but I no, I, I, I stay in my lane. I'm, I'm, it's no, it's no secret with me. I stay, I stay in my lane, um, and I, and I make that abundantly clear. There's some shit that you just won't catch. You won't catch Ripper out there doing. It just won't be. It won't happen. Uh, you, people, I, you know, I get that. You can't expect everybody to care about everything. You, we got the monkey spear. You know, you can only care about so many things. And and is that? I mean, you can you can try to. Be, let's say I'm somebody who wants you to care about this. I feed you like a bleeding heart story. If you don't care, you don't care. Mm-hmm. Like if you you gonna either act or not. And I was gonna say that you you don't even gotta take it to politics. Like all people on either side, I think I think they want like transparency and communication. Okay. Any sort okay. of organization that is over you that has power over you in some way. That's what people want from that organization. If we had transparency and communication for our politicians, we probably wouldn't even need to talk about all this libertarian shit and removing the government and whatnot, right? Like they just, we'd just be able to voice the concerns. We see exactly what these people are doing and we'd be able to act accordingly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, communication and tra- like people understanding their, wanting to be, understand what's, what's actually taking place, where this person is at, where these people are at. Yes, for sure. It would alleviate a lot of problems. It would alleviate a, it would, so it would that, alleviate a lot of that's, issues. That's all that needs to happen. Like, 
people on on the side against the Mises Caucus, they're worried about them because they feel like they might be bringing in people that don't want a whole population of people to exist or whether they're not they, exist and, and, or exist in a lower okay. form. Okay, fair and, enough. And on top of and, and on top of that, not just that, but there is there's an exclusionary sort of vibe to the the caucus because of what I was saying. What you know, okay. the socialism, the, the uh, okay. on the left side or on the means caucus side. I'm sure they're worried about whether these people that are on the left and claim they're left libertarians or what have you are actually going to help. And aren't going to like stab them in the back, you know? Yeah, put them up uh, on the wall once it's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a legitimate concern, uh, certainly there. But I, <laughs> uh, look, I will say, I think more people should actually engage. And I'm not saying this as like some ambassador. I'm saying this just to be uh, 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 one, keeping it 100. I think people should talk with those people actually over there at, at, at the Mises Caucus, For not sure. talk at it's them, uh, but, talk, but talk, but talk, but actually talk everybody. with them. Have some sort of communication, and I think a lot of their issues would, uh, they would find that the threat that they feel that they are, it doesn't exist, and they made that, it, it's a boogeyman that they made up uh, in their head. Now, I, the reason I'm so familiar with that is because we deal with it over here, uh, uh, certainly as well, about weirdos saying things that just couldn't be anything further from the truth, while also refusing to to, to communicate. All right, uh, bro, right. I, pre I appreciate you, uh, you know, you, you coming on. This has been a great, great, great conversation. Actually a valuable, a yeah. valuable one. Is there anything you wanted to leave, like certainly the audience with or, or, or anything before we got you up out here? It's all about bottom unity. <laughs> Left and right libertarians, we got to come together. We got to make something happen for 2028. Okay. All right, well, you heard it here. Hey, man, I appreciate you uh, being on, and man. Maybe we'll have you on uh, no problem, again. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and follow you, bro. I'm going to stop okay. on you now. Okay. Bro. All right, fair enough. All right, that you sounds good. That? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't follow a lot of people because, right. man, my, 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 my timeline's flooded, man. Like, uh, it's already insane. Yeah, it's yeah, already you, insane. You got to keep it concise. Well, yeah, Twitter, you know, I got to keep it 100. All right, man, be easy, man. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you being here. You too, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just watched a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.